But one of the biggest challenges we have are these deeply held stereotypes, gender norms about what it means to be a man and a woman. So if you are a man, you must be this. If you are a woman, you must be that. And the problem with that is it stops each of us living to our full potential. It means that a girl who might have amazing policing skills doesn't grow up thinking, I want to be a police officer. So therefore, society loses the benefit of her potential and her talents. And a young man who wants to do a job that doesn't conform to the gender stereotype, society is losing out on him. We know men and women, boys and girls, all of different perspectives on all the issues we're dealing with, so we want to capture all of the representative perspectives and opinions. We need to have a leadership that takes on board gender issues, what we call gender responsive leadership. So it has to come from the top, because where the leaders go, staff will follow. What does it mean uh, to be a uh, gender responsive uh, leader? Uh, for us, I think that it means that uh, we give uh, high priority for these uh, gender equality related uh, issues uh, and actually uh, this topic need to be part of our daily work. Uh, for this reason actually we have developed for our mission uh, uh, this gender uh, focal point system in order to uh, ensure that uh, this, this uh, topic will be high on uh, our daily agenda. Those societies where this uh, uh, gender equality is high on the agenda, I think that uh, people are having better life. The, the reason that leadership is so crucial in this process is because they have the power. They have the power to change, they have the power to influence people. The end goal of making sure that you have gender equality as a priority in your organization. The end goal of that is to create a working space where we really utilize people's abilities based on their experiences, not based on their gender.